Welcome back into Macon, Georgia. Now, I know we had the high school football playoffs on Friday night, but here at Five Star Stadium on Saturday afternoon, it felt like the FCS playoffs. The Chattanooga Mocs and Mercer Bears battling to control their own destiny to a SOCON title in a game where everything was magnified. Tough sledding for both in the first quarter, 0-0, but in the second, Chattanooga starts to gain some momentum. A big third down pitch and catch from Cole Copeland to Chris James sets up the mocks. Then it's a limb forward, and this dude just refuses to be tackled. He keeps them legs churning and finds Paydirt as the mocks take the lead. They miss the extra point, though, so it's only 6 to nothing. On the ensuing drive, Mercer cashes in themselves. A brilliant play call on the misdirection leaves Drake Starks all alone as he walks into the end zone. Their extra point good, 7-6 Bears at the break. Halfway through the third quarter, the Mox defense appears to be taking over third and long, but Fred Payton makes a play with his legs. Devron Harper the catch, tack 15 on for a late hit, and the Bears are in business. The bend don't break of the Mox defense, though, and if you ain't from Saudi, well, you just ain't nobody. Former Trojan star Ty Beck with a monster red zone interception, and he has six on his mind. Number 46 returns it 85 yards to the Mercer 10, but the Chattanooga offense just can't capitalize on the opportunity. Aaron Sears comes in for the chip shot and lead, but he misses the 22-yarder, and Uncle Mo starts to live on the Mercer sideline. The Mocs just bit by the turnover bug on Saturday. They commit three in the second half. This their fifth of the afternoon, a Mercer interception, and it just starts to add up. The Bears were able to flip the field and tack on a field goal with 1.31 to go. Chattanooga still has life, no timeouts. They need a touchdown, but they don't even get a chance to try because Mercer recovers a squib kick hit off a Mox player, and that's all she wrote from Five Star Stadium as the Mercer Bears now have the inside track to a SoCon title with a 10-6 win over Chattanooga. I was actually kind of pleased where we were at halftime with all the crap that went on during the first half. I thought we were in pretty good shape to come out here and just go play and, and go figure it out, but we didn't get it done. I didn't, I didn't do a good enough job of getting them ready to come play in a game like this. And, you know, it, it's, it's hard when you play harder than somebody and, and good things, you, you're doing good things, but then you turn it over, you know, and, and, and you, can't, you can't win doing that. Turnovers, missed opportunities, and all of the little things added up to a gut-wrenching loss for the Chattanooga Mox. If there's any silver lining, despite all the mistakes, they were still in it to the very end, and they hope to learn from it because they won't soon forget this one on Saturday in Macon. Now the Mox will wrap up their season next Saturday at home at 1.30 against the Citadel, and this wraps up our split sports caravan from Knoxville to Macon. Reporting from Five Star Stadium on the campus of Mercer University, Ben Bobic, Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports.